Hello all. Welcome to another video solution by Code Runner. In this video, we will be looking at the longest palindromic substring problem on LeetCode and this video will provide you with the C++ solution of this problem. I have also made a video for the Python solution of this problem and if you are more comfortable with Python, then you can go ahead and find that video linked in the description box. Also, I request you to please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about exciting problems and their solution. So, without wasting any time, let's proceed to this problem. In this problem we are given a string S which can consist of digits in both uppercase and lowercase letters. We are supposed to find the longest palindromic substring that exists in S. As we are talking about a substring, so the final output has to be a continuous span to characters in the input string S. The characters cannot be away from each other and they have to be adjacent to each other. To understand the problem better, Let's check out the first input sample. The input is B A B A D. The substring B A B is a palindrome because when we reverse it, we still get back the same sequence of characters. So the output to this input sample is B A B. Note that A B A is also a palindromic substring and we can return any substring out of all the possible answers. In the second example, the input is C, B, B, D. The only valid solution is B, B to this input example. Now that we have understood the problem, let's head over to the Python solution. The technique that we are going to use for our approach is based on an expand around the center technique. The basic idea is to iterate over the input sequence and at each character, move two pointers, one to the left of the current character and one to the right of the current character. Consider the diagram shown here. While iterating over the input string which is indicated by the pointer i, we start two pointers j and k. One moves to the left of i and another moves to the right of i. We keep moving j and k in their respective directions until the characters at each of their positions is identical. The above idea will cover all the odd length palindromes for us. We call these odd length palindromes because we have only one center character, i, and both j and k move in their respective directions at equal speeds. Thus, the final palindromes will always be odd in length. We then extend the same approach as above to even length palindromes. In this case, we define two midpointers, i and i plus 1. The pointer j will now start from my minus 1 and the pointer k will start from my plus 2. Now that we have gone through the idea we are going to follow, let's head over to the code and see how we are going to solve this problem. We first define the length of the input sequence. After this, we define a function expand center that will help us collect the characters from the left and the right of the center characters. The argument passed to this functions are basically the position of the center of the palindromic substring. In case of an odd palindrome, the value of i and j would be the same. Whereas, in the case of an even palindrome, the value of j would be i plus 1. Once we are into the function, we see the left and right pointer moving in opposite directions and collecting characters until they both match and both of them remain within the bounds of the string. Finally, this function returns the palindromic substring around the center character i and j. Then we declare the result variable that will store the final result of our function. We start iterating over the input string s. This loop is also denoted by the i loop in the diagram above. First, we collect the possible odd length palindrome around the character at position i in the input string. If the palindromic substring obtained is longer than the previous best, we declare the obtained palindromic substring as the best one. Then, we do the same thing for the even length palindromes. Here, Instead of having only one center, we will keep two center characters, i and i plus 1. We again check if the palindromic substring now obtained is better than the current result or not. 
That is IT guys. Great job and we are done with the solution. Let's try to run it and see if it works or not. And there you go. The solution has been accepted. I hope you liked the solution. If you did, then please hit the like button and press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest problems and their solution on lead code. Bye for now. Happy coding and I'll see you next time with another exciting problem and its solution.